Hey you guys, welcome back to the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna try and teach you guys everything you guys need to know on how to catch fish off piers. I live in Southern California, so I primarily fish these piers, and I know that these techniques were great over here. I'm gonna be showing you guys from the rods and reels to all the tackle and baits you should use, and I'm gonna show you guys out on the pier how I use all my stuff. I mean, it is winter time right now, it's really hard to get bites right now. Most like, you know, the mackerel, bonita, all those stuff, they go like, they, they just move out. And they'll come back in like the spring, summertime. But as of right now, there's a lot of perch that sit by the pier. And there's also a lot of like, couple little, little type of bait fish, which are also really fun to catch. And there's always those pretty much bigger size bottom dwellers, like, you know, your stingrays, your bass, your little sharks. Those are always staying there. I'll show you guys how to catch both of them. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Schneer and I make these fishing videos. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, go ahead and please go ahead and consider subscribing right down below. I would really, really appreciate it. It really takes me a long time to make these videos, to go all the way out to the pier on the bus, which takes forever. Trust me, it's really annoying. And then come all the way back and make these videos and then edit them. It takes me forever. So if you guys could subscribe, it would, I would really, really appreciate it. And hit the like button so more people like you guys can find it's for the algorithm so more people like you guys can go ahead and find my videos and without further ado let's go ahead and just jump right into the video all right and the reason i'm actually making this video is because i went surf fishing a lot like like five or six times the past couple of weeks and i can't seem to get a bite i don't know what i'm doing i'm using berkeley gold sandworms i'm using little grubs all in carolina rigs and i can't seem to figure it out after i like really got pissed at the surf, I went onto the pier and I did some pier dangling for some perch and stuff. So I was like, like why not? It's a perfect opportunity to make you guys a how-to video on how to catch fish off the pier. So I'm gonna catch a lot of perch, but if you guys come in the springtime, there's gonna be a lot of mackerel and bonita and some really fun stuff. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna talk about my rods and reels and my line that I put on these stuff. So I have about two combos that I'll take and they both have a different specific like purpose when I go to the pier. So you really only need one of these rods, which is my spinning combo, which is right over here. And it's, you're literally your average six foot, seven foot spinning combo, medium power with your 2000, 3000 size reel. I usually have a pier dangle a rod. This is my, my bass setup, but I had my pier dangle rod for like two, three years and I caught like a billion mackerel on it and it lasted a while. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the links in the description of all my favorite things. So I'll, I'll leave that really budget rod. It was like 20 bucks a combo and that thing was fire, super smooth and everything. But now that thing broke about like a week ago, I just started using, you know, my bass setup right over here. And on that, my pure dangler rod that just broke. I had eight pound mono. It worked out perfectly, but on this rod I have some braid, 10 pound braid, because the, because the braid is super sensitive, I can feel all the little bites and it makes it a lot more fun when the, even when these little fish are nibbling. It feels like a really hard tap on your line. This is my spinning outfit and what I'll usually put on my spinning outfit is usually always these sabiki rigs right over here. They're about $2 at like Walmart, or you could pick them up at Big Five. They'll literally come with a snap on the bottom, and you can snap on whatever weight you want, one, two, three ounce weights, and it, you just snap it on and off. And then on the tip, you'll have a little swivel. So you have a pre-tied rig with a bunch of hooks, and these things catch fish. So I'll have it on this light, light setup, and that's how much fun I have with my little spinning outfit, and I'll usually hold this the entire time while I'm at the pier. And for my other setup, which is basically my bottom rig setup, is this, you know, 13 fishing, you know, saltwater bait caster with a little seven foot medium heavy rod, which is a little bit heavier than my spinning outfit. And I don't really care how long it is because I'm basically just dangling it straight down on the bottom, right where the structure is, right on the pier, because they're usually hanging out right under there. So this one I'll usually keep just sitting right on the rails with a little bell, all right? And this is the exact rig that I'll put on my bait caster. So I'll have my weight right over here, 
I'll have a really long leader line and I'll have about a size one drop shot hook or I'll put on a circle hook if if I have a couple circle hooks around and I'll leave about another like, you know, two and a half feet leader and I'll tie myself a little swivel. Right when I get to the pier, I have everything set up. On my bait caster reel, I have 25 pound braid and on my spinning, I have 10 pound braid. I'll use a 15 to 20 pound leader line on my bait caster and I'll use about 10 on my spinning. And then for my baits and lures that I usually use, one of my favorites is usually shrimp. It works great on the sabiki rig. If I can't get any shrimp, then I'll usually go under the pier and pick off some muscle off the poles. And it's very, very natural, but it doesn't really stay on the hook that good, but it's super natural. And they're usually munching on it anyways on the poles. So I'll usually get a bite or two on the muscle. But squid is really good too. It stays on very well on the hooks, but I just I just don't I don't seem to get as many bites as I do on shrimp and mussel. When it comes to the bottom rig, I usually always use anchovies. It, it it just flat out catches a lot of those stingrays and bass. It catches a lot of good stuff. I even caught lobsters before on my on my bottom rig. So I'll either use that if I don't have that. If I don't have anchovies, then I'll usually use some shrimp. Squid also works good, but I found that shrimp and anchovies work the best on my bottom rig. And then when it comes to lures, I really, really like the little jigging spoons that you basically, they have some really nice flash into them. Those are really nice. These are from Megabait right here. And you basically just toss them out and they'll flutter down. And when there's some active predators out there like Bonita and Mackerel, and they're feeding like crazy on anchovies, and sardines and stuff like that then and you can see bait on the surface all over then you should definitely try out some spoons if you guys can't get these go ahead and check out the crocodile spoons those things work perfect cast masters dude i've i've killed it on the crocodile spoons at venice pier for some bonita and mackerel that was really really fun get it you definitely gotta get some little jigs like these they're so much fun to chuck out and get hit on the flutter down so that's all my stuff and now i'm gonna take you guys out on the water and show you guys all this stuff in action catching some fun wintertime perch out at santa monica pier so we'll hit you guys straight at the pier and one really 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 big mistake i see people doing out on the pier is using way too big of hooks like way too big like they are dangling like two feet in the water, like a massive one, two odd hook. And it's dangling with like a full shrimp like this. And there's no little perch or mackerel who's gonna eat that entire thing. So I we've all done it before when we were first starting out. I even remember the first time I went out and I, I had a massive hook with a really big piece of anchovies. And someone just showed me how to do this exact technique, what I'm showing you guys right now. And with a little bit of shrimp and it works really really good the other thing i see a lot of people doing is using really really heavy rods with really heavy weights all the fish that they catch doesn't feel as fun as if you have like a nice medium setup where like you could just dangle it and it's a lot a lot of fun so get a light rod a really light little weight and you'll have a lot of fun catching all these really cool species out on the pier and what i was going to say my favorite hook size that i use over here in my sabiki rigs is size eight Sometimes I'll use six for mackerel and maybe even I'll go even smaller if I want to catch some bait fish But size eight is perfect for your all-around perch mackerel and little bait fish All right, so I'm making a little quick voiceover because it was super loud at the pier So I'm just opening up a brand new pack of sabiki rigs size eight and I'm putting on a little bit of muscle that I picked from the poles and I'm dropping it down right under the pier on the poles because that's where the perch are already munching on all the muscle. And here we go, I catch one. So all I actually did just to catch these fish is I'll keep it right in the middle of the water column and the sabiki rig is pretty long so it could cover a good amount of the water column down there. And when I feel little bites, I'll slowly lift up my rod and if I don't get them, I'll just leave it there. But if I feel a nice tug, I'll reel it in and I'll probably have it. And that's usually how I get them. And I'm always fishing under the pier because that's usually where they're all hanging out. 
So actually what I did with this exact fish, I hooked him really, really well and he's bleeding everywhere. So I didn't want to just chuck him down in the water just to die. So I was like, why not just feed it to the birds? So right here. <laughs> Catalina blue perch. Yeah. They have a little bit of blue on the tail, like a little oh, line. Okay. Yeah. Do you eat us? These are really small, but. Where do you put them? Oh, they're, they're very small, very small. All right, you guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed or you guys learned something out of the video. And I got you guys to get out there with some sabiki rigs and some shrimp and have fun catch some peer species which are really really fun and if you guys could subscribe I would really appreciate it it took me a really long time to make and edit this video and hit the like button for the algorithm so more people like you guys can find my videos and if you guys want to see when I went to Venice Pier with some spoons and I whacked the bonita and mackerel and click right over here hit over here when I went to, to Santa Monica Pier and caught some some bottom fish which was really fun some stingrays and bass go to come right over here hit over here subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys in the next video